Hello everyone, welcome to Sushma's Kitchen. Happy Diwali to everyone. And I know that I have been away, uh, I haven't posted anything uh, for the past few months uh, because I was busy with uh, some personal work. I was uh, shifting my home and uh, this is my new home. And uh, I was shifting everything with uh, all the stuff I was so busy. And uh, I was busy with my office work also and the summer was also very busy for me. And now I thought I have I should upload something because uh, it's been a long time since I have uploaded. So today I thought it was auspicious because of the valley. I thought I'll start from here again. Uh, I thought of making some um, moti chud laddu recipe for you and uh, hope you will like it. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon and share my videos to all your friends and family who like my videos. And Please watch my videos today and follow my channel and happy Diwali once again to everyone and from here I'll see to that I'll, I'll upload my videos at least once in a week whenever I have time I'll upload my videos but please keep on following my channel and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Here I have taken a bowl uh, and I am adding uh, 4 cups of uh, gram flour that is chickpeas flour and I am adding uh, 4 cups in this. You have to mix it with water as a thin paste, very thin paste it has to be uh, not too thick, it has to be thin. So add a lot of water and uh, nicely mix it uh, without forming any lumps, it shouldn't form any lumps. So mix it nicely. See you can see now it is a very thin paste. I am adding a half a teaspoon of yellow food color or you can use orange food color also. Mix it well. See now it is fully thin the paste. This is a batter for the bundi. Now I have taken oil for it, for deep frying the batter. This one I have taken a small whole pan which I am going to use for this. The holes has to be very small. If you have a little big small uh, holes also it's okay don't worry. We can fix it. Now I am using with this dish and I am gonna fry the batter. I am pouring the batter in that pan so that the, with the holes everything comes down and fries well. The oil has to be in a high flame so that it will get fried very easily and it has to come crispy. Let it fry for uh, 5 minutes. It has to be crispy but it shouldn't change the color. Five minutes it will be done now it is done I'm gonna take out everything and put it in a paper tissue paper so that it will absorb the excess oil also so like this I'm gonna fry all the batter We need to fry all the batter like this and I am keeping everything all together. If the bundi comes a li little bigger, it's okay, don't worry. Uh, we can just put it in the blender for one, one uh, few seconds and we can take it out. That will be still easier for you to make. I am going to do the same thing. See, I have taken a blender here. Now, if you got the big pieces of that uh, batter, you can uh, put it in the blender. 
and just grind it for one day for uh, two three seconds see now it has gone small pieces like this it has to be if you want to keep like that the same big one you can just make it out or this will be very nice see now this is very small now i have taken for one cup of the flour which i have used i am taking one and a half cup of sugar that is the measurement one is to one and a half ratio so i have taken four cups of uh, flour the chickpeas flour so i am using six cups of sugar here and six cups of water and i am putting some cardamom powder cardamom powder also and we need to bring it to a nice boil it has to boil nicely so that it will become little thick not too thick the consistency must be little thick and i'm going to add little bit of color also the yellow food color edible color and let it boil it takes around 5 to 10 minutes now it's boiling but it has to be a little thick still now it is almost done now in this i'm going to pour the boondi see now you can see you, you feel that it is thin but when you keep on cooking like uh, for another 5 minutes if you cook it will become thick the batter will become thick so you don't need to worry that it is thick or thin or uh, very watery consistency you don't need to worry see you can see it's becoming thin the boondi has to cook It has to become soft, so we need to cook for at least five to ten minutes. With this, you can close the lid and leave it for ten minutes, so that the ever it the evaporation, whichever the water comes, the boondi will become soft. We can switch off the stove. See now it is done. After it is cooled down, like uh, I have let it cool down. Now I am gonna mix everything with the dry fruits. I have put some cashew nuts, fried cashew nuts in this, and I am gonna make a small balls with this, like a ladu. I am gonna prepare all the bat batter like this. I am gonna make the small balls like this and keep aside. Now your recipe is ready. Motichur ladu is ready. It's very easy to make. You have to try it at home for Diwali. Here it is. Your motichur ladu is ready to eat. Hope you will like this recipe and uh, enjoy your Diwali. Happy Diwali once again to everyone. And please share my videos. to everyone and subscribe to my channel bye